So I was going to get a bed, but then I, someone sent me this, and I thought, oh, go on, I will waste my time replying to the woolly bumblebee. Hey, did you all know that you can apparently tell someone with negroid, mongoloid, or caucasoid, caucasianoid, uh, by the structure and shape of their skulls? Yeah, that's true. No, no, that's literally true. See, that's called forensic science. She thinks I'm talking about craniometry, which is used by race realists and scientific racists to justify segregating society based on race. <laughs> it's not really... You didn't even Google this. You fucking idiots. <laughs> Oh, well, that's that's very good. I, I, you know what? Right, I'll just I'll stop you there. What I'll do is I will contact the investigating forensics, SFU dot museum, who talk about forensic anthropology. I mean, it's a scientific discipline, so I know that they're probably scientific racists. But this is how they this is the the process by which they identify what the fuck they're dealing with, and as you can see. You end up with, you know, the range, blah, blah, the age, and then the ancestry. This is the important bit. I'll zoom in so you can see. Anthropologists also attempt to identify ancestry as part of a biological profile. In our society, the term race is often used to refer to population differences. However, races do not exist in the biological sense, and anthropologists prefer to use the term ancestry. That's fine. I don't mind what term we use. To assess ancestry, anthropologists looked for skeletal features that tend to be more common in some populations than others. Wow, how fucking racist. Obviously, they can't determine skin or eye colour, but they may be able to place an individual into one of three broad geographic categories, European, African, or Asian. Oh my god, that's basically what I said in my video. Importantly, while people with similar ancestry tend to share certain characteristics, humans vary more within populations than between them, and there is a high degree of overlap. That's great. That's a good reason not to worry about making this into a scientific racism issue. It's a good reason that we don't do it. Because it's not like an exact science. But it is important if you are learning about an individual you have discovered buried in the ground of unknown data or origin. It's also important to remember that in forensic investigations, recognition and identification are the ultimate goals and ancestry often has more to do with the person's physical appearance than their biological heritage ancestry is estimated by measuring observing and analyzing the bones of an individual's face and skull oh shit woolly shit you have just been proven to not know the fuck you're talking about constantly and you don't even do cursory research so when you are busy lying and deliberately deceptively editing clips to try and make it look like i hold the beliefs you think I, uh, you think i hold which i don't and when i'm trying to represent someone else's beliefs and you cut out the context it doesn't even matter because your videos are just flat fucking wrong your whole community is flat fucking wrong on this issue. None of you know anything about this. And I only know because I know people who did forensic science at university, and they told me, because I thought, well, that's an interesting subject. Share some of that knowledge with me. You don't know shit. You are a fucking idiot, a fucking attention whore, and your whole little community is pathetic. This is why nobody likes you. And the thing is, you're all also wrapped up in your own little emotional, I have to get one over on Sargon, that you you literally don't have anything. I mean, you don't criticise any of my actual work. <laughs> you're trying to go... I mean, you had to set this all up with a lie to start with. But even then, you're still fucking wrong. <laughs> you are just so embarrassingly wrong. It's like listening to Kevin Logan talk about history. <laughs> You don't know what you're on about. You just don't know. It's like listening to the other guy saying, oh, well, you know, this mythological account of uh, Inanna is proof that the Sumerians had an entire transgender priesthood. You, you just don't know what you're talking about. You don't, you, it's like you don't even try. You don't even understand the concept of separating your own bias from the subject that you're talking about. But anyway... Have fun denying that you fucked up again, Wooly. Just have fun. <laughs>